All right, so in this lecture, uh, we'll be looking at uh, one of the feature that can be integrated in Jenkins uh, while executing uh, your uh, Cucumber test. That is, uh, if I uh, go to your, uh, if, I, if I go to the Jenkins uh, UI, and if I run one of my uh, Cucumber build, so the build is scheduled. Uh, it's running so it will navigate to uh, the feature is about navigating to cars uh, guide.com.au and uh, performing a couple of tasks uh, on this uh, website so uh, the feature that uh, has been written over here uh, like for searching for cars and for searching for used cars right uh, so once everything is being executed, uh, I have actually integrated extent report uh, for Cucumber, right? Yes, extent report can also be integrated with Cucumber. Extent reports are very popular these days, right? So what I have actually designed over here uh, is that once our test is successfully executed, the test is still running, right? So Jenkins will actually going to show you uh, the Cucumber uh, like extend reports, right? So there is a plugin that I have actually integrated uh, with Jenkins. Once uh, the test is successfully executed, uh, we're going to see the extend report on uh, the Jenkins UI itself, right? So uh, let us see uh, the status. Uh, it's still running. So let it uh, finish the test execution. You can see all the steps are uh, being shown over here. All right. All right. So uh, the build uh, uh, is uh, successfully uh, completed, and if we go back to the project, uh, uh, we'll see extent a report uh, link over here. If I click on this link. You can see uh, an extent report. Uh, you'll see a lot of status over here because I'm actually maintaining uh, previous uh, re execution records as well. The latest one uh, is over here, uh, which you can take a look uh, at the current time. Uh, it uh, is just generated, right? If I uh, click on this, you're gonna uh, find all the steps that's been executed over here, right? And even if, if you see one of uh, the failed step uh, that uh, uh, if I open this up you can see a couple of steps are passed and one of them uh, failed and if you take a look over here a screenshot is also uh, attached uh, in this report right so this is uh, how your uh, extent report will gonna look like and you can uh, integrate it with uh, your Jenkins uh, build itself right so when you run your cucumber test you uh, you'll see your results of extent report you need not to go into a different folder and check it you can directly view it uh, against uh, the project that you have built on jenkins right so in the next lecture uh, we're going to talk about how we can uh, configure uh, this plugin and how we can uh, execute our cucumber test and generate extent reports uh, on the same all right thank you